I'm with Admiral Schofield and Kyle Alexander. You two have something in common completely unrelated to basketball. But first, Admiral, I want to talk about what you said about Kyle. Because you guys came together kind of finding what you both like. But first off, what did you say about Kyle when you first met him? I first met Kyle. <laughs> you know, he's this tall 6'11 kid. Walks kind of goofy, just long arms, don't even know how to control his body. So me and Shavari asked him, you want to get something to eat? And he just like stares at us like, and we're like, OK. And he didn't come with us. So we're like, OK, this dude's weird. But you know, I got That's to know him, and he's, look, see, I don't want to hear that. Because he looked at me, he's like, <laughs> like so scared and nervous, like, like, like we're not his roommates. But I mean, hey, now he's, he's opened up, and he's, he's taking some big steps here on the floor and off. So he's a really good dude. You play the guitar, you got the, vo the vocals. When did it start for each of you? When did you start playing the guitar? I started playing last year. Okay. Um, I got kind of bored uh, at home when I used to go between workouts and stuff. I wanted to stop playing video games. So I picked up the guitar and I, I just went on YouTube and learned the chords. Oh my gosh. And started learning songs. I, le I really learned off YouTube, which is pretty cool. And then I found out my school had a guitar class, so okay. I went. I took the guitar class uh, during one semester and, and learned some more about it, and just started playing. It got better. It got fluent with it, so it's That's been good. So cool, yeah. Kyle. When did you start singing? Um, I used to sing when I like us around the house when I was younger, and my parents tried to tell me that I had a nice voice. You know, I didn't really believe them. <laughs> and then I used to just sing. I used to just sing sometimes around my friends. You know. Like you said, it takes me a while to open up. Uh -huh. if, I, if I sing around you, you know it's real. <laughs> you know, you know you're yeah. part of the clique. If, if, you're if, part if, of the Kyle if I you're sing, If I sing in front of you, you know it's real. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, if I, but you know, I started singing around some of my friends, and some people tried to tell me I have a nice voice. And mm -hmm. I started to believe a little bit. Then, then like, three months before I came here, I got, like, really sick for, like, a week. Uh -huh. Messed up my voice a little bit, and it kind of just took away from some of it. So I haven't, <laughs> I haven't never really been 100% since then. But. When did you guys start doing this together? When did you realize, okay, he's got the voice, he's well, got the strings, let's funny. put it okay, together. It, it was funny it. because I, I, we were here for like a month and he was singing and singing and singing. He didn't know I had a guitar in my closet because I never <laughs> brought it out. So he started singing, he started singing, I think it was All of Me or it was Summer Song. And I was uh -huh. like, you know, I can play that on the guitar. He's like, oh, really? I was like, yeah, I have it with me. He's like, no way. I said, yeah, I can play. So I went and got it and played it. It blew his mind. After that, we just started, and then, and then started, started. learning new songs. He's playing and he's right. joined in. Let's, let's have a look at one of their first songs that they played for us <laughs> earlier this week. Well, you done done me, you bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but just so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool run, run out, right, I'll be giving it my bestest. And nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. But I won't hesitate no more, no more. This is our fate, I'm yours. Well, open up your mind and see like me. Open up your plans and damn you're free. Listen to your heart and you'll find love, love, love. Listen to the music in the morning. All right, what's what's next for you two? Are, are we going on a record label or um, or what's going on here? <laughs> no, we uh I just I just bought a piano recently, just oh. like an electric piano for the room. So I used to I used to take lessons with my sister when I was younger. But I was really young, so I'm just trying to get it back right now. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to learn himself, so. Yeah, so right now I'm just, I'm just trying to learn the piano a little bit, but we don't have that much time. You know? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you guys got, Rick. got a season coming around yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Rick, Rick, Rick likes to keep us in here. Yeah, Rick, Rick, Rick likes to keep us in here and, you know, have us working hard. So we're going to be in here a lot more than anything. We, really, we just play when we have free time yeah. when we're bored. So. so in the off season, you'll, you'll come back together and, oh, yeah. and really Start to make Probably get our own studio in the closet or something like that. Maybe. <laughs> I like that idea. All right, let's <laughs> take a look at one more of their songs. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. 
It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs, the still frames in your mind. Hang it on the shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skins on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life.